somewhat chilly day with uh, Bison Women's Golfers Marissa Naylor to my left, Veronica Vitesna to my right. <laughs> Ladies, how are you doing today? Cold. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> a little bit chilly, but it's all right. <laughs> Marissa, I want to start with you. Uh, now, women's golf team sort of was on hiatus for a little bit, came back sort of mm -hmm. towards the end of 2016. What does it mean to be sort of the next generation of boys and women's golfers and sort of continuing the legacy that was started? Here? Yeah, so coming out of high school, we really don't have nowhere to go. So if we want to stay home, uh, we had to go down south. And so with the U of M coming back, um, it allowed us to stay home, play golf, and be on a team that was, um, still is going to be one of the best teams in Canada. So um, just being a part of that team and basically seeing it come to life after what it was, uh, is amazing. And trundling to the Canadian University Championships, Veronica, sixth place finish for you last year. Uh, what worked so well for you uh, at the event last year and, and what are you hoping to build on for this season? Um, I think my experience really helped, my patience. Um, I honestly didn't know where I was standing exactly with my finishing. I was just kind of focusing on one shot at a time, going with what I could do at that time. and did my best and it got me the sixth. hoping for the team to make the cut obviously we're really close last year we just missed out um, but personally I would love to make the cut and finish top five that was just out last year had a couple of bad strokes here and there so I'm hoping for that this year uh, but winning MVP meant a lot um, especially being the second year you're with Aaron McIntyre to my left Steve Young to my right gentlemen thank you so very much for being here today problem. <laughs> Steve <laughs> University Championship third place finish last year. Uh, first of all, I mean, uh, how did that feel to accomplish that, the best finish since 2014? And how do you build off of that for, for this year's championship? Yeah, I think coming off the last couple of years where we had uh, finishes that, you know, we really weren't happy with and we missed the cut uh, a few years in a row there since, since the team had won. Uh, so to get third, you know, showed that it wasn't just a fluke, that uh, you know, we're, we're a good program and, and we can be right there. And, you know, it, it's good to show that you're one of the top programs in Canada and uh, very excited to be building off that this year. Yeah, again, same, same sort of question for you, Aaron, just in terms of um, having the, you guys both been back and, mm -hmm. and sort of as veterans now, I mean, do you put more pressure on yourself or is it sort of just the same as it would be for any other event? Yeah, I, I, I think for sure that the, the older guys kind of got to show up, especially with having the majority of the team being young kids this year. It's, it's important to show who you are and play your role and not exactly mentor them, but show them who they're who they're looking forward to be coming up in the next years in the team. They're going to be the veteran close to us. And the last question will be for both of you guys. Steve, we'll start with you. What do you reflect on, you know, when, when you think about this, this journey you've been on as a, as a bison? I would say just learning how to enjoy. It can be pretty miserable out there sometimes, <laughs> so you, you have to trick yourself into saying, like, I'm having fun, this is this is good. Same question for you, Aaron, and just, yeah, just reflecting on, and just sort of the fun times you've had here, ideally, and, and yeah, what, yeah. You, what you leave with. From the beginning, when I started my first year to now, like, the friendships, and these are all, like, my closest friends now, and it's, I don't know, you get to be one of the guys for consecutive weekends is a blast, yeah. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for your time, and, and all the best this year. Thanks for having me. Thank you.